Hey guys! It's so great to be making a YouTube video again. Um, so surprise, I had a baby. Um, and I'm still thinking about whether I want to like show her on YouTube or not. Um, to protect her future wishes to remain off the interwebs. Although she's probably going to be living in the metaverse by the time she gets older. So maybe I shouldn't be worrying about that. But anyway, I've been meaning to make this video um, for anybody who is anemic and pregnant. Um that would be doing like a YouTube search, trying to like troubleshoot their anemia because I had spectacular results um, kind of dodging the anemia bullet. Um, uh, so I wanted to talk about what I did to, well, I didn't get anemia, first of all, but I knew it was something that was on the horizon just because it's something that's supposedly so normal um, that I took, uh, I took some measures to prevent it, and not only did I prevent it, my blood work was the best blood work that my midwives had seen in the birthing center, and I don't think it was genetics. I really think that what I did had to do with why I dodged the anemia bullet. So, um, my subscribers, you guys are probably familiar with supplementing organs and eating organs because I started this YouTube channel to document um, my diet of the my diet journey, I guess, of the carnivore diet. Um, but if you're new to my channel and you haven't heard of, um, if you don't know what eating organs is, then you're probably American, um, because a lot of other cultures in the world have staples of, um, uh, have organ meat staples, right? Like, I know in Cuba, my parents, they used to eat, uh, liver and onions. That was like a very common dish. I actually think Americans do eat liver and onions, but it was like a older generation thing. Um, most kids these days have no idea what liver tastes like or anything like that. So anyway, um, let, I wrote I wrote down some notes because I realized that one of the main reasons I kept putting off making this video is because I feel like I would just lose track of everything that I want to talk about. So, all right, so anemia and pregnancy. If you're pregnant and you're watching this, then you probably already have anemia. If you're not pregnant and you're curious as to like, why am I even talking about this? It's supposedly a common phenomenon for women to become anemic in pregnancy. And the reason uh, we're explained for why this happens is because your blood volume increases and that supposedly like dilutes your hemoglobin, right? Um, but the thing is that doesn't make sense from an evolutionary perspective that we would become anemic and super weak and fragile um, because throughout evolution, you know, how would we have been able to like avoid predators and I don't know, I just always assume that health and vitality are a default, right? And if we deviate from that, then we must be doing something wrong because I feel like evolution and natural selection would have taken care of, you know, eliminating people who weren't fit to pass on their genes, right? So, so I didn't accept that anemia was normal in pregnancy, even though it's something that is very common. Um, so by the time you're like 20 or 22 weeks, um, you start experiencing anemic symptoms, you start getting really tired, out of breath, and we all just kind of accept that that's normal, right? Um, so I didn't quite get to that point, but because at the birthing center where I was going to do my birth, uh, the midwives were already kind of expecting that I would become anemic. They're like, hey, you know, so you're approaching that part of your pregnancy where you might become anemic, so we want you to start taking, we want you to be proactive and start taking this vegan iron supplement. Um, so I was like, okay, sure, I'll take the vegan iron supplement, already knowing that vegan iron is not bioavailable. Um, so what I did instead is that I, um, I, um, looked up desiccated organs, right? And some of you might already be familiar with this brand. Uh, it's called Heart and Soil. It's Paul Saladino's brand. So I actually just reordered their prenatal stack just to make this video. And it's like $200, so it's not cheap, um, but it's totally worth it. So anyway, I actually ditched my prenatal that I was taking, and I didn't um, take the iron supplement that the midwives told me to take, and I just started taking these. So I'll go through each of them. I just briefly showed them. So the first one is mood, and, mood memory, and brain. And this has, this is what it looks like. And this has New Zealand grass-fed brain, New Zealand grass-fed liver, and New Zealand grass-fed bone marrow. And then the next one I took was Life Blood, and this is just um, grass-fed whole blood extract, which has red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, immune proteins. It has spleen and it has liver. 
I took beef organs. This is probably the most important one. Um, if you can't afford to get the prenatal stack, I would just get this. Um, so this is liver, this is heart, kidney, pancreas, and spleen, and then fire starter. I didn't take this one as consistently because it's just a beef fat, uh, which has awesome benefits. But I mean, I was already getting so much fat in my diet, um, my pregnancy diet. So I was not carnivore by any means during my pregnancy, um, but I was, my most important food group was definitely meat and fat. Um, I... I splurged whenever I wanted to, um, but like I said, uh, my main my main food group was meat and fat, and then if I also wanted to have some ice cream, then I did, you know? Um, so I really think that taking these made a huge difference in um, how I experienced pregnancy, because I had a very, very easy pregnancy, um, you know, relatively speaking. Um, which is something else I think that from an evolutionary perspective, I think pregnancy was probably not as difficult as it is for the modern woman. Um, so I, I wrote down a little list of pregnancy symptoms I did not experience that uh, I guess I was you know, expecting to experience because they're the more common things that uh, pregnant women experience. Um, I had no mood swings, none. Like I just felt, I actually felt good. You know, I guess the pregnancy hormones just made me feel like I'm usually a tough crowd when it comes to like laughing and like cracking up at things. And for some reason, like I just loved watching comedy when I was pregnant. So I had no mood swings whatsoever. I had no crazy like cravings. Um, and I've always thought that a pregnancy craving indicated some kind of a deficiency or something, you know? So if you crave like, like to me, it always made sense that pregnant women would crave pickles because, you know, with your blood volume expanding, you probably need more sodium and other electrolytes and stuff. So it makes sense that you would crave pickles. But I had no cravings whatsoever. In fact, I didn't even get that much hungrier than normal. I just I had an extra meal a day, so I didn't fast. I would wake up in the morning. I would, I would actually have breakfast. And I did put on a few pounds during pregnancy, but it, it quickly came off. I have like nine pounds left um, to get back to my pre-pregnancy um, weight. I also didn't, um, I had no perceivable pregnancy brain, which is like a lot of pregnant girls get like severe brain fog. Um, my best friend swears that I had pregnancy brain because there was this one day where I was like miscalculating something and I swore that I was right. Um, but at least I didn't, I mean, I didn't feel like I had brain fog. You know, when you have brain fog, you just feel confused and like you can't really focus or, um, so no perceived pregnancy brain. And I didn't really have any pregnancy swelling until the very last like couple of weeks of pregnancy when I was already ready to pop. Um, no exhaustion. Um, the last couple of weeks, like I was, you know, I was finally very uncomfortable. Uh, but this could also be because I'm kind of a taller woman. So the, the weight of my belly relative to my size is, you know, like uh, it's not as much as to somebody who's like really uh, a lot smaller. Um, and I wrote here, no insatiable hunger. So I already talked about that. Um, so as far as, I, I also think that the way I ate or, and then, um, these supplements may have contributed to my labor too. I had a pretty quick and easy delivery. Um, and my mom, I don't think this was hereditary because my mom didn't have, she had like a normal, normal birth, um, with my brother, who's the older one. And I was a C-section baby. So I don't think that's hereditary. Um, but I do think that maybe... Maybe I'll make a separate video about my uh, um, my birth story. I had a really cool birth. It was super a super rewarding experience. I birthed in a tub at a house, so I had a home birth. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't get the moment the baby was coming out on video. And I don't think I would have shared it, but it would have been a cool thing to have for myself because my mom, when she was recording, she was like taking care of the dogs too. And by the time she started recording, like. I don't know, something happened, like her phone cut off or I don't know, something, but I do have photos. I might share some photos. Um, but anyway, I, so yeah, I just really wanted to make this video because I, if I can spare one pregnant girl, the suffering of having anemia in pregnancy, um, it would be totally worth the $200 that I spent on this. I've recommended it to so many people. I have pregnant friends that I've recommended it to. The midwife, one of the midwives that I was seeing was anemic and she was pregnant and she was like, I'm going to take this and I'll let you know what happens. Oh, and by the way, you should also check the reviews and do a search on the reviews for pregnancy or anemia. And you're going to find so many stories um, that are even better than mine, because like I said, I never gotten anemia 
Oh, right. So when my blood work came in, measure, uh, looking at my iron and my like red blood cell measurements, I'm not super familiar with that kind of blood work. I actually had outside of reference range values, not like super outside reference range. That would be like dangerous, but um, you know, my blood levels were so good that they were actually like better than pre-pregnancy. And my midwife told me it's the best blood work that they had ever seen um, for iron and anemia. So Anyway, um, yeah, check out the reviews. I wish I could get like a sponsorship or something with them, but I'm just super stoked on this product um, that I'm telling everybody that has fertility issues about it and, and that is going through pregnancy. Some people have listened, some haven't. Um, so like I said, I wish I could get a sponsorship or I actually applied to their affiliate program and they must have laughed. <laughs> I was like, please, I'm just super stoked in your product. At least give me a discount code, you know, that I can like give people. I won't get anything for it, but I just want people to be incentivized to like order this and give it a shot. Um, so anyway, I'll make another video about, I don't know, whatever else I want to make a video on. Uh, but this was super important for me to make. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing great. I will talk to you guys in the comments. See ya.